Lobatow's rule is a tool for evaluating limits of indeterminate form. Indeterminate form means zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Loosely speaking, it says that <coughs> if the limit of f as x goes to a is zero, and if the limit of g as x goes to a is zero, then the limit of their quotient as x goes to a can be gotten by uh, evaluating their derivatives, top and bottom, and just plugging in a. Uh, like you said before, this is also true if both limits are infinity, and in which case you'd have infinity over infinity instead of zero over zero. For example, this thing here. Uh, the first thing that you do with these limit problems is try to plug in the number that it's approaching. And when you try to make x2, you get 0 over 0 in determinate form. Then you can apply L'Hopital's rule, which means limit as x goes to 2, the derivative of the top, 2x, divided by the derivative of the bottom, which is 1. And then just plug that in. And what you get there is 4. And that's the answer as opposed to factoring and canceling, which we would normally have to do. Second example, uh, this thing here. The first thing that you have to do is you make sure that it's of indeterminate form. If it's not indeterminate, then you can't do Lobatow's rule. You have to do something else. But you try to plug in pi over, over 2, and uh, you do indeed get 0 over 0. So then you're free to apply the rule limit, and the next goes to pi over 2 of the derivatives of the top and bottom, so that's going to be minus cosine x divided by the root of cosine is um, minus sine x, the, the, the negatives cancel. Can we re-evaluate it there? The cosine of pi over 2 is 0, and the sine of pi over 2 is uh, 1, so this new limit is 0. That's the answer to the old one. Third case here, something that looks pretty scary, there's nothing that we could really do to this, aside from L'Hopital's rule, you try to, to plug in 0, indeed, you get 0 over 0, for you do the rule. So, limit, x goes to 0 again, the root of the top is equal to the x, the root of the bottom is uh, 3x squared, and then you try to do, and then you see what happens with this. As x goes to 0, when you try to plug it in, you get 1 over 0, which means that the function has a vertical asymptote, because it's always positive, this limit is infinity, or DNA. All right, another example here. Try to plug in 0, get 0 over 0. Let's do the rule. Limit, as x goes to 0. Derivative of the top is sine x. Derivative of the bottom is 2x. You try to evaluate this, and once again, you get 0 over 0. But that's good, because we can just do L'Hopital's rule again. We got zero zero, it's indeterminate, so do it again. The root of sine is cosine. The root of two x is two. Uh, as x goes to zero, the cosine of zero is one, and this limit is one half. So you can do it as many times as is necessary, like this thing here. Um, this is of indeterminate form, it's infinity over infinity. It's the only infinity over infinity example I have. But um, as the top bottom goes to infinity, you get uh, indeterminate, so then you can apply the rule. Limit goes to infinity of, uh, the, the derivative of the top is e to the x, the derivative of the bottom is 2x. And again, once you try, when you try to do it again, you get uh, indeterminate, so apply the rule again. Limit, x goes to infinity, e to the x divided by 2, and then this one is obviously infinity.